Welcome to the Numerology and Astrology for September 18th, 2021. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 23. And if you add the two and the three together, you get the number five. The number five connects the five points creating the star symbol of the feminine. This number is passionate, earthy, physical, and filled with vitality. It asks us to look at the reality and the passions that motivate the needs and desires of our soul. While we are stardust, embodied in the physical world, we are here to have a human experience. The number five is all about learning to deal with the confusing forces that motivate the in denser drives and challenges of this physical reality. The number five reminds us that we learn through this plane of existence. By dealing with this density, we learn about the manifestation of the energy and focus it takes to be here now. The number five is associated with Peles, the goddess who presides over ether, considered the fifth element in life, which is the integrative elixir that brings the other four elements together, fire, earth, air, and water. The Brahmins connect to the number five as the five attributes of men, form, perception, consciousness, action, and knowledge. The Christians see the number five as the number of sacrifice associated with the five wounds of Christ. And in the positive, this number is about stable stability, healing, and passion. In the negative, this number is stubborn and locked down in their beliefs and ideologies. Astrology today. The moon is much more friendly as it finishes up in Aquarius today in the later afternoon. It will help us be more objective and allow our intelligence to lead. There is a drive for that connection with others as the moon aligns with Jupiter. Love those in your life as much as possible. Create traditions that are inspiring and that support connection and peaceful engagements that bring a smile to the face of all. Joy tries to expand and grow. It is time for the positive energies to show how much we have grown and how we have improved. What, allow, what allows for that noticeable shift are those powerful connections to others that gives us the desire to be connected and a part of the lives of each other. The moon goes into the emotionally sensitive sign of Pisces before dinner time. For the next few days, <clears throat> many are going to feel more vulnerable. So remember to be gentle, compassionate, and kind. My quote for today. Kingdoms are made and lost or lost in a moment of raw emotion. We are learning to temper our emotions with rational thought. There is no difference. There, it is no. It is not different than learning to temper steel. Working with the metal within the mind, with the heat of emotion, can unify and bring something amazing together if one is willing to take the time and effort to make seemingly divergent things find a common base point and connect. So with my blog today, um, it, so I thought I what I would do is I would talk about Peles, you know, which is this, you know, goddess of the Greek pantheon. And um, so first of all, let's just start with the fact that Greek history and mythology is a gigantic mess. <laughs> and I believe it reflects the failings of the human condition and the suffering of our egos, choices, and the consequences that follow us around like dogs. Um, even there... Greek gods were uniquely egoic and human. The history of the Greek gods does not begin with the Olympian deities. All the Olympians were descended from an earlier generation of gods called the Titans. And the Titans were descended from the primordial waters that emerged from chaos. The Titans were led by Kronos, the god of time, also known as Saturn, and overthrew their parents to gain control over this world. They were overthrown by Zeus and his brothers and sisters. Those Olympians threw the Titans into the chasm of the underworld. And that is just the messy beginning of Greek mythology. So being a god was fraught with risks. And that is what makes this mythology so interesting to humanity even thousands of years later. The Greek gods were so human. They are mag magnifications of our best and worst aspects. Even great kings such as Zeus are clearly existing in a very uncertain reality, and it clearly reminds us that how history repeats itself when it is unintegrated and not embraced as a teaching of what not to do. 
Zeus devoured his first wife, Metis, whose name means wisdom, because of a prophecy indicating that her son from her would make an end to his rule. Just as Kronos, his father, devoured his sons to prevent them from ending his reign, devouring is about embodying the knowledge and skills of another in mythology, but taking on the powers of another when one is unprepared causes pain and suffering. Such was the case with Zeus. Zeus later had such severe headaches that Hephaestus cracked open his skull and the goddess Athena emerged from the wound fully grown. From that point on, Athena became the new goddess of wisdom, replacing her mother. And yet, Athena was a warrior goddess because, of course, her father is Zeus, right? So she wore all the accoutrements of war, but she was the embodiment of strategy and the teacher of warcraft. It is from Athena that we often associate the asteroid goddess Pallas. Often, Athena was referred as Pallas Athena. The word Pallas means maiden. In ancient Greek, the verb palo means to brandish a spear, which also is associated with Athena. But once again, there is messiness with Pallas because the story goes that Athena had a childhood friend, a girl called Pallas. Both were being trained in the arts of war. At one point, Pallas and Athena got into a conflict and it came to blows. And Zeus feared over the safety of Athena and distracted Pallas, who was then struck dead by Athena. But after Pallas was killed, Athena was overcome by grief and made a wooden statue of the likeness of Pallas that was worshipped in the Palladium in Greece. It's like, so, and it gets even more confusing because there are several other Greek mythologies um, who are called Pallas, but they are all male. While I will not go into these um, other stories at, associated with this name, it is a reminder that life is never neat and tidy. Things do not always fit into little boxes. Greek mythology shows us that life is about embracing the chaos. We have to learn to not mind the messiness of life, but learn how to enjoy the life we have been offered. As an asteroid in astrology, Pallas is an indicator of your talents in such areas as art, justice, wisdom, ability to defend yourself, intuitive knowing, and negotiation. She is the artful use of words to construct a win-win in situations. She is the energy that helps you make difficult choices in life and in love. Payless tries to help mankind learn to temper instincts with reason. She helps us learn, turn ideas into actions. She is your ability to have critical thinking, sometimes lacking in our current world situations. Payless is about the need to learn how to use the left side of the brain in order to gain powerful reasoning skills that support logical balance. I like to think of Payless as Spock, a female Spock, type of um, archetype in our more modern world. Payless is that calm and calculating ability to make difficult decisions, especially within relationships. Payless is that energy that allows us to navigate new environments. As such, she is a much needed skill at this time. She is that fighter for what is just and right in the world. She will ignore her own needs in favor of supporting the greater good. She is our relationships with our fathers, as well as all men in our lives. Pallas is the ruler of arts and is often has a prominent place in natal charts of people who are artist, artistically gifted or who are in some creative profession. These people are often in some form of visual arts like movies, design, photography, sewing, painting, pottery, sculpture, etc. These, this asteroid gives healing abilities to a person. Pallas rules different methods of healing using the power of the mind or some other techniques in the process of self-healing and healing others. These can be meditation, visualization, repeating affirmations, hypnosis, and sound and light healing, mind control, etc. In the charts of some people, it grants these people with great healing abilities, and for some people, it gives them receptivity to be healed in such a manner. For some people, a prominent Payless indicates good diplomatic skills and talent for diplomacy and politics. With a bad aspect of Payless, the person is usually lacking diplomatic skills, has a weak character, or is aggressive. Check out where you might have this asteroid in your own chart by going to one of the free astrology sites and putting in your own information. 
and in my written blog that will be on my um, uh, personal website and on Facebook, um, I will put one of the links so that you could find out where your pay list is. Okay? You guys have a good day. Bye.